Hello, everyone. This is a story of someone who I uh, I admire a lot. This person, um, since uh, since he was a little boy, <clears throat> didn't have his father around. His mother couldn't take care of him. There wasn't enough money. Um, born in a poverty-stricken place. Um, ruled by dictatorship especially back in the early 80s <clears throat> it um it was hard to, to to make a living at the age of 16 this person had to leave home homeless start selling whatever he could find sleep in barns on top of a tree so the dogs wouldn't bite him and get him. Um, uh, he, uh, he went to jail for trying to feed his family. They gave him nine years um, in and out of jail all the time for trying to do the right thing in a country that doesn't care about its own people. Um, <clears throat> Came to this country, worked hard, started from nothing to now, helped his family, especially his kids and his wife, with everything, sacrificed a lot so that I could have a better future. And to this day now, he's still sacrificing and giving more than I could say. It's kind of hard to talk about it because this person means so much to me. And I kind of took this person for granted. But, you know, as I got older, I realized that everything he did and said was for my own good. <clears throat> my name is Marcos, and that person was and is my father. Ever since I could remember, he's always been a hard worker. He sacrificed so much. I remember there have been days where, you know, he'd be out and, you know, working and working because just so we, we couldn't go uh, hungry in the household. And I remember how you know, everything he had to do to get us there and how much he struggled.